How to share the gospel boldly? There are three keys in sharing the gospel, meaning people face three problems when it comes to sharing the gospel. The first thing is they do not know what is it they want to share. That is the gospel message. But you do know the gospel message. The second hindrance is they do not know who they would want to share the gospel with. Now we have uh, outlined for you that you ought to list out the names of your unsafe friends and colleagues and classmates and relatives and family members and so on. And these are the ones that you ought to uh, share the gospel with. And the third hindrance is uh, fear. How do we share the gospel without fear? Or put it another way, the key is how do we share the gospel with boldness? Well, the answer lies in just one word, prayer. Prayer is the answer to that question. We need to pray for boldness. We need to pray for courage. We need to pray for opportunities. We need to pray for responsiveness. We need to look to God and ask for boldness that he would give us courage, that he would open doors and that he would open people's hearts, that they would respond to the message. So prayer is a fundamental key to sharing the gospel boldly. Let's look at some scriptures. This is Paul writing to the Ephesians. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, Paul says, And for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Now, Paul, this is Paul who has been, his passion is to share the gospel, but yet he says and says that, uh, Pray for me that I may open my mouth boldly. And that is a prayer we, you and I can pray for ourselves. Lord, that I might open my mouth, that I might open my mouth, that I might speak boldly. What a prayer that is. And then in 1 Thessalonians 2, uh, verse 2, Paul again writing to the Thessalonians, uh, he says, You know how we had already been mistreated and insulted in Philippi before we came to you in Thessalonica. And even though there was much opposition, our God gave us courage to tell you the good news that comes from him. Note where the courage comes from. It comes from God. God gives us the courage. So again, how do we get courage? It is through prayer, asking God to give courage to us. And an example of that we find in Acts chapter 4, uh, verse 29. Here the apostles got together and they begin to pray and say, Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. That is a prayer. They say, Lord, enable us to speak your word with great boldness. And then in verse 31, it says, After they prayed, the place they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. You know, boldness comes with the power of the Holy Spirit. So we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit will give us that boldness. Next, we see Colossians. Again, Paul writing to the Colossians, he says, Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Meaning, prayer is still the key to courage, to boldness. And here he says, And pray for us too that God may open a door for our message. Meaning, it is God who would uh, grant us uh, opportunities, open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains. Pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. Again, uh, prayer that we might proclaim it. You know, some of us sometimes get tongue-tied when we come to sharing the gospel with our friends. But had we gone praying and said, Lord, uh, give me boldness, uh, grant me an open door, that I may speak, I may speak clearly the, the message, the gospel message. Then we look at Acts 16, verses 13 and 14. Again, Paul here uh, is, is in this uh, context. On the Sabbath, we, this is uh, Luke and, uh, and Paul, went outside the city gate to the river where we expected to find a place of prayer. We sat down and began to speak to the women who had gathered there. Uh, one of those listening was a woman from the city of Thyatira named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth. She was a worshipper of God. 
the Lord opened her heart to respond to Paul's message. Again, it is the Lord who opened her heart uh, to respond to Paul's message, meaning that we need to pray that God would open their hearts so that they would respond. So in conclusion, uh, it is prayer for boldness, for courage, for opportunities, for responsiveness that would get us to share the gospel effectively. Let me pray for you. Lord, give these disciple makers the courage to open their mouths to share the gospel clearly. Grant them open doors so that they can speak the message boldly. Open the hearts of those listening that they may believe in Jesus Christ who died and rose again to pay the penalty of their sins and who gives them eternal life. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you.